while the St. Clair River's thirty miles long. Heave her up, lads, heave her high. We'll set our canvas to the song. Heave her up and bust her. Heave her up and bust her. Heave her up and bust her. We'll set our canvas to the song. Heave her up and bust her. Now, I'd be hard-pressed to tell you that being a musician and singing sea shanties was actually part of the marine trade or the marine industry, at least not in 2021. But it's something that I do, something that I've had an interest in for a long time. Uh, my name's Ian Bell, and uh, I'm known as a folk singer. I do uh, traditional songs. I also write songs as well. Being a musician's got... Uh, uh, there's a lot to it. Um, there's the part everybody notices where you get up in front of an audience and you play an instrument or you sing a song and, you know, in my case, I tell some stories too. Um, but there's all the other parts that you don't see. Uh, uh, the parts where you have to... Uh, <laughs> you have to look after things for yourself in a lot of cases. Um, there's always a lot of practicing. There's a lot of time management, like uh, figuring out uh, if you've got enough time to uh, learn learn a new song or to write a new song, uh, to learn how to play something, to keep going on your instrument. Uh, you know, I've been playing for all these all these years, and I still make mistakes. Um, there's there's also a huge amount of Wow, kind of administrative stuff. And I guess if you're a big star, you get people to do this for you. But for most of us, you know, uh, being a star isn't isn't the reason we got into it. And uh, I've certainly succeeded at that. Um, but uh, it's because you want to you want to make the music. It feels good to you. You enjoy the process, and and of course you enjoy it when other people like what you're doing too. And I guess I really see my role uh, as a musician with an interest in in Canada's waterways as part of a, a I guess a tradition bearer, somebody who's letting people know about the heritage and the history of uh, of our waterways. And and I think if if people take an interest in that, then chances are they'll um, I don't know maybe do more in their lives to help us preserve those. The songs I sing are songs that uh, were sung by sailors back in the 1800s for the most part, when the uh, the ships on the Great Lakes were sailing ships, schooners and barkentines, and uh, and I get a chance to go out and uh, sing them occasionally on a on a ship, uh, often more often at a museum or uh, in a. Uh, uh, in a concert situation, and I do them on my own, and uh, but it's always more fun to do them with other people, and that's why all these songs, the sea shanties, have all got choruses because they're they're meant to be sung along with. I play lots of different instruments. I've got a concertina here. You can see a button accordion in the background. There are banjos and mandolins all over the place here, and uh, uh, that's the nice thing about uh, sea shanties is you can you can always find somebody to uh, to sing them with you. Well, I thought I heard the old man say, Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Just pump her out and draw your pay. And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow. And it's time for us to leave her. Bye. Uh -huh.